Hey, Flyer Mechanic here again, and today we're going to be diagnosing a Honda Fit that is not charging. Um, we're going to basically go through the whole system real briefly and find out what it takes to uh, fix your Honda if it's not charging. And on this one, I can tell you it did not end up being the alternator or the battery. So stay tuned to find out what it is. Welcome to our latest video on car maintenance and repair. Today we're going to be talking about a common problem a lot of Honda owners may face when their alternator is not charging or they have a dead battery. In this video, we actually find something kind of out of the ordinary. Um, we've actually already replaced the alternator and the battery, so I'm going to go over my findings with you. All right, so we're going to start by hooking the scan tool up and checking it for codes. Okay, so we got everything scanned here, <coughs> and uh, let's see what we have. All right, so we got uh, charging system voltage low, alternator B terminal voltage low. Now these may have, this has had an alternator battery put in prior, so some of these could be uh, pre-existing. But you can see we have a P154A, which is battery sensor internal failure. So um, yeah, where that if that battery sensor fails, it will it will tell the computer to. Uh, make the alternator stop charging only just to protect the uh, the battery and the alternator all right so in this Honda the customer came in complaining about uh, the battery light coming on and all her instrument dashes lights coming on or her lights are getting dim so typical symptoms of an alternator not charging so we brought it in actually um, probably about three months prior to this to replace the alternator and the battery so she had come back complaining that her alternator isn't charging <laughs> So um, I had to go out and we had to jump start. We actually had to jump start the vehicle. The battery was dead. We got in the shop, hooked the battery tester all up to it, and the alternator is charging at 14.4 volts, which is plenty. So everything was working. All the lights were off. The battery was actually charging. So after we scanned it, we obviously saw that there was a battery sensor code. And what those uh, battery sensors do is basically they monitor the batteries temperature and amperage draw so if something goes wrong inside that battery or the battery is shorted it'll actually tell the computer to stop tell the alternator to stop charging that way you don't run into some kind of uh, fire danger or some kind of issue of that nature so um i ended up kind of tapping on that battery sensor and wiggling the wires and the charging light did come back on so that's what we're going to go ahead and replace in this vehicle um, as you can see i have the battery sensor here and the part number so very simple to install and i believe this part from the dealership was about i want to say 110 dollars so. all right thanks for watching and if you want to find out more on charging system problems i do have another video you can go check out right here until next time thanks for flattering mechanics